Hey, everybody, time for another uh, BGG's personal vlog. Well, I got some hopeful news. Uh, hopefully, a chance to get promoted back to what I used to be, which was asset protection manager with the company. Our current asset protection manager, actually, actually she's, a, she's a multi store a, APM from our store and another store that's uh, not too far away. Well, she got promoted to, uh, I guess, the pretty much the biggest store here in our market. And uh, she's been around with the company pretty much as long as I have. But she's always been an AP. Or, of course, you know, I used to be an AP and now in receiving. So I have a chance to get back to my true passion. So hopefully... Uh, uh, when it, when that position actually opens up, I'll apply for it and hopefully I'll get it. I'm going to say it hopeful because this will be awesome. Get back to my true passion and, uh, be an asset protection manager again. So, uh, yeah, keep me in my, keep, keep me in my thoughts, would ya? Send me good vibes and stuff because I definitely need it. And actually right now, I just left work early, getting home. Because Carl called me saying that he, uh, it's kind of warm in the house. The AC, the, uh, AC's blowing, but not blowing cold air. And it's getting warmer in the house. And, um, the outside unit is not, the fan's not going on the outside unit. Because usually when the inside unit is blowing, the, out, the fan on the outside is, is, is going. And it's not, so there's something going wrong. So I had him call, uh, the last people that looked at it, and that's been, it's been years ago. So, uh, they can't be got, can't come out till sometime in the mor morning tomorrow. So I'm going home. Cause I think that, I think the fan is stuck for some reason. Maybe I can at least look at that if I can get going again. Um, get the, uh, house cooled down. Otherwise, if I can't do that, I guess we, at least, you know, have power, obviously. So we, we were pulling in some of the fans and blowing some more fans around in the house. Help at least somewhat cool it down, make it seem cooler. So, uh, yeah, that's it right now. And good Lord, just, just what I don't need, right? Another big expense because because of that stuff, depending on what's wrong with it, uh, it could be a big expense. Luckily, the last time something happened to it, uh, it was still under warranty and, uh, got fixed under warranty. So, but I'm, it's out of warranty now. So, uh, hopefully it's not a too big of an issue, but you know, it is what it is. And of course, still doing Uber. So I get, hopefully I get promoted and I won't have to do Uber and only and do Uber because I want to, not because I, I have to. So, uh, but anyway, yeah, yesterday, of course, today is Monday, August 12th, but, uh, yesterday, August 11th, I did some Uber before we know what I went for my live stream, and, uh, I actually got tipped twice on the same trip. I had uh, actually had a, signed up for a reservation earlier in the week to take somebody from a town called Mesquite all the way to the uh, Dallas Fort Worth International Airport. And uh when we got there, she said did, did you receive her tip? I I put it in there and uh just wanted to make sure you got it. So I, I won't know that until after we end of the ride and I won't and I won't actually know a little bit until a little bit later. I said, well okay, well I said it went through. So we get out I unload the luggage and the husband, her husband hands me a 20. And then, and then, uh, after I left and moved on, I got the notification that I received the tip fat trip and it was $10 and, you know, 78 cents. So it's $10 and 78 cents, you know, so change, which means she must have hit the percentage option because I'm understand that you can do a percent or a, uh, just a flat dollar amount. So. So I ended up getting $30.78 in tip for that ride. So that was awesome. That's the biggest tip I ever got so far. 
I mean, before that, the biggest save I ever got was $20. And I actually got two $20 tips one time in one day. But I've gotten actually a couple of $20 tips here and there. But other, other than that, it's like some $10 tips, $5 tips, and of course, then there's two, one, two, three dollar tips. So anyway, it all helps. So if you're a new ride share, especially with Uber or Lyft, they actually don't pay that well. So, uh, remember to tip your drivers if you take a drive. All right. So update. I did look at the little AC outside part here. The fan, the fan was not trying to engage. It was, it was humming, you know, whining. So basically I just, just tapped the fan in there. I mean, just hit it, make it go. And, uh, it started working. So. Which means the fans, uh, part is on its way out. So we do, there's somebody scheduled to come out, come out and look at it between 10 and 12 tomorrow. So, well, let's we'll see. Hopefully that's not too much to replace, but so far the AC has shut off and come back on a couple of times and the fan started by itself, but obviously it's going to do it again at some point. It doesn't seem like it's going as fast either. Uh, but yeah. So I hope it won't cost too much. Oh, and also, I am so close. I believe I'm only like six, 16 subscribers away, I think. Uh, for getting that 1500. So when I get the 1500, I'm going to try to do a, uh, some giveaways for hitting the 1500. So, uh, if you haven't already, check, my, check out my channel for Beard Park Reviews, Tips and Tricks, and live streaming every Sunday at uh 8 p.m eastern so go check it out and give me a subscribe